<coughs> make sure you wash off all the excess dirt that's around the badge prior to putting it all on. Put a pint of water. Wash it on there. So you need more than that. Time to upgrade the M3 badge into the more aggressive black or carbon fiber look. So we'll be changing that to this beauty here. And if you turn it around, we have to see the part number there. That is the badge that we are going to be using today. Get more a bit more, a little bit more aggressive on my car. So a little bit of trick that we normally use here. Get a lollipop stick, make sure you've enjoyed the taste and the flavor. Put a masking tape on it, on the stick right there. Don't do that. Stick it on. Come to a badge. And that is where it's gonna sit straight. Put it underneath. Stick it on there, stick it on there. It's gonna make, that's gonna be your go to point. Then we'll just get, I've just used um, a D300 badge for my Land Rovers that I do. Yeah, you can any straight edge you can use for this particular one. Stick it on there, bring it forward, and on the on the line here, stick that there. So we'll stand back and have a look at that. That's where the badge is going to be sitting. The next point is going to be for us to remove that awful silver badge. The gap in the middle, guys. I use a cable tie. Use a cable tie. We don't like to overcomplicate things here at Power Performance Cars. Keep it simple and move forward with it. So you get that. We'll stick it in between the gap. Make sure we've got the measurements right. It fits perfectly to this for the gap, actually. So we put that on there. stick this here like that ready to rumble so lads what we're going to use is this weapon right here soften the glue make sure the badge comes off nice and steady there we go so once you're done with that that should be soft so it should easily come off yeah, beautifully. Pull it away from the car, not into the car. That's the free. Again, put your thumbs under it away from the car. There we are. And badges off. The best thing that I find to take the uh, the glue off, you know, I don't know if anyone's going to agree with me, but it's tried and tested by myself. It's vinegar. I've got vinegar in here. I want to have vinegar. Put some vinegar on it. Let it sit there for a bit, soak in. So get your nail, and then you'll see. Look at that, it's coming away so beautiful. This vinegar is really good to use. Okay, on to the next one. So look how amazing vinegar is. Look how it just comes away, it comes away into your hands. It comes all off. And it comes into your hand. No pun intended. Make sure this is the only thing that comes in your hands, lads. Don't be spending lonely time. There you are. So now you know the um, the gap that's supposed to, or the space that's supposed to be between the M and the 3. You know how we do it. Pull that off. For use later on. And... While well, the apple cider vinegar is on there, no, it's not even apple cider vinegar, just normal regular vinegar. You don't go for no expensive stuff. Oh, just cheap ass. Right, clean that up. As does. Loving my transparent gloves. I think they're amazing. My wife don't mind me using them. There we 
ya we get some polish and polish that up before and after so i'll use the cut plus the 3m gear make sure if there is any of the glue left which i don't think there is but if there is it just nicely just removes it all and plus polishes the surface pretty well clean that up that and then we'll use finish off on fine cut extra fine plus give it a good clean I'm using a lint free cloth. That's it. I'm ready for the badge. Right guys, you'll notice the gap between the M and the 3 is a lot greater than the one that's on the E93. And if you're very anal about um, that, which I am myself, I'll just cut through that one now. Very neatly, as you can see. Beautiful job. So we'll put the M on first and then we'll go with it. So the guys, what we do then we get the M, pour it, rest it on the lolly stick. Lolly stick. Nicely, take your time, no rush, remember. Just take it on. Tack it on really. Don't, don't press it on just in case you want to take it off. Make sure you're happy with the way it's sitting on here. That's the M. Okay, so just get this again, your guide. Make sure the gap's there. Okay, we'll tie it. So it's straight. Again, take your time, don't rush. Yeah. There we are, so we know the the same as the previous one. Okay, right, so we get the three then. Put it on. Make sure the gap's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, lightly just tap it. Make sure it's right. You're happy with where it is. Right people, there's the finished product. Obviously we noticed that the bag that we purchased from the dealership, it's got a few marks on it. We will be taking that off and replacing it with a new one because we're anal like that. But overall, if you look at it, this slight little touch really sets the car off. I'm happy with that. Definitely looks good. Keep watching. Yep, like, share and subscribe, support the channel. And we'll keep putting out quality videos money seven videos for you guys